Hello and welcome to Beginner Piano Lessons, a 14-week course designed to help you feel confident with the basics of piano. I'm your teacher Dylan Lane and today's goal is to learn the notes on the bass clef. Before we get started, make sure to download a free sample of my Beginner Piano Lessons ebook, which I will link in the description box down below. For each video in this course, there's a related page in the ebook containing color-coded examples, pictures of my hands on the piano chords, simplified definitions, as well as links to the related videos. In lesson 32, we learned that the staff is made up of four spaces and five lines, each assigned to a different letter in the musical alphabet, depending on which clef is placed at the beginning. Today, we're going to learn about the bass clef notes. This way, if a bass clef is placed at the beginning of a staff, you'll be able to read, name, and play the notes on every line in space. Let's first take a look at the lines. Starting from the bottom line, we have G. The next line is B, then D, F, and A. There's also an added line above the bass clef, which is middle C. In lesson 32, we also learned that a note's placement on the staff determines how high or low the note's pitch is. Let's take our left hand finger three and place it two G's below middle C. This is written on the bottom line of the staff. Next, let's move finger three up to B, which is written on the second line of the staff. And you can hear that G sounds lower in pitch than B. Next, let's move finger three up to D, which is written on the third line of the staff. You can hear that B and G sound lower in pitch than D. Next, let's move finger three up to F, which is written on the fourth line of the staff. And you can hear that D, B, and G all sound lower in pitch than F. Next, let's move finger three up to A, which is written on the top line of the staff. You can hear that F, D, B, and G all sound lower in pitch than A. Last, let's go up to middle C, which is written on the line above the bass clef. And you can hear that A, F, D, B, and G all sound lower in pitch than middle C. Now let's look at spaces. Take your left hand finger three and place it two A's below middle C. This is the bottom space on the staff. Next, move finger three up to C, which is the second space on the staff. And you can hear that A sounds lower in pitch than C. Next, move finger three up to E, which is the third space on the staff. And you can hear that C and A sound lower in pitch than E. And last, let's go up to G, which is the top space on the staff. You can hear that E, C, and A all sound lower in pitch than G. In the next lesson, you'll learn a trick that will help you to memorize every note on the staff. Again, check the description box for a link to download a free sample of my Beginner Piano Lessons ebook, as well as for links to all 44 videos in this course. I'm Dylan Lane, and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.